let's talk about fascia, light, and water. Now, fascia is that connective tissue matrix that is made up mostly of collagen that spans from the surface of our skin all the way down to our internal organs. It kind of goes in this hierarchy of collagen, and it creates these triple helix tubules. It creates these collagen tubes, and they're down on the nano size, right? They're in that uh, size level where quantum effects can happen. And that's exactly what we see. We see that our fascia creates this quantum communication highway in the body, our bones acting as a loom to stretch this connective tissue fabric throughout the body. It goes from our skin all the way down, entering into those cells via those integrins into that cytoskeleton of the cell. It's in our extracellular matrix and a foundational piece of our lymphatic system, this flow of toxins and immune cells throughout the body. We see that our fascia is lined with this cell-bound, easy water, this exclusion zone water. And this water takes on a different structure. It is able to capture frequency information, light, electromagnetic frequency, sound, that frequency language of the body. This cell-bound, easy water can capture, it can store it, and it can transmit it throughout the body. And if you think about it, it's not only fascia that is creating this body-wide communication network, it is also this special structure of water that is lining our cells on the outside, on the inside, in our mitochondria, on our DNA, in our fascia, in our microtubules, all throughout the body. We have this connected water network spanning the body as well. And when we're looking at fascia, we see that our fascia is piezoelectric. So just like a quartz crystal, when we compress that, it creates an electrical current. Same thing with our fascia. If we compress our fascia, either by movement, whatever we may be doing, yoga, dance, a walk in the park, or we get manual therapy like myofascial release, fascial releases and maneuvers or a massage. All of those things deform that fascia and create an electrical current. They create a flow of electrons in that tissue. And that is something that can flow through this organized structured water. So not only do we have this fabric of collagen in our fascial network connecting to every structure in the body, almost every cell in the body, we have this cell bound, easy structured water, this plasma water, right? This water is negatively charged. It builds with infrared energy and right outside of it is a positively charged zone of water. That separation of charge between that negatively charged water and that positively charged water creates a potential energy, just like we would find in a nine volt battery. But not only that, this water can become excited. It can become excited by ultraviolet light. It can be excited by electromagnetic frequency. And what do I mean by excited? I mean that the electrons in this special structure of water lining our cells become excited and they can disassociate and they can go where we need them to go in the body. When we're looking at biochemistry, when we're looking at how the body works, there is a fundamental level of the flow of electrons. This idea of oxidation and reducing that we see in organic chemistry, right? Way back to those classes of organic chemistry where something is oxidized and it has too little electrons, it's deficient in electrons. And we've heard about oxidative damage in the body and that's associated with inflammation, right? This deficiency in electrons, this acidic nature in the body, right? Where a reduced state is the gaining of electrons. It really quenches that oxidation. It quenches that inflammation. 
And that is that flow of electrons from oxidation to reduction, that redox, right? What Mei Wan Ho called a redox pile in our fascial network, in that specialized water that lines our fascia is this reservoir of energy that can be used to decrease oxidative damage, to decrease inflammation. Not only is that specialized water a water battery, right? Like we would find in a nine volt battery of potential energy, but it actually allows for the conduction of electrons throughout the body wherever they are needed to quell that inflammatory fire. So we see this beautiful dance of infrared energy building that water battery within us, building that negatively charged cell bound water, that water that's bound to those hydrophilic water loving surfaces inside of us, our cell membranes, our organelles like mitochondria, our microtubules, our fascia, our DNA, those are all water loving surfaces that this water comes right up to and it changes its structure. It creates a different organization that's liquid crystalline in nature. And that liquid crystal structure of that water allows it to capture this frequency information. And it's infrared light specifically that really builds this zone. And we know this from the work of Professor Gerald Pollack. He was instrumental in identifying this different phase of water. His book, The Fourth Phase of Water, beautifully illustrates and explains this. But this Water is negatively charged and right outside is that positively charged zone, creating that potential energy. And like Mei Wan Ho talks about in her book, The Living Rainbow or The Rainbow and the Worm, we see that this is a source of electrons. It's a source of energy that can be utilized throughout the body. Not to mention that on the inside of these fascial tubules, we see that structured water is being built right against those hydrophilic edges. Then comes that positively charged zone of water, creating that separation of charge. And that propels water through the center of these fascial tubules, but not only water, particles and protons. We're so used to thinking about electrons and the flow of electrons creating electricity, but there's also energy in the flow of protons. What a beautiful dance we have from infrared energy in our environment, from the movement of fascia to create a flow of electrons that can further this body-wide communication and transfer of energy and information through this specialized water that lines our fascia and our cells. It's absolutely incredible. If you like this content, subscribe, give me a like, let me know what you'd like to learn more about, and stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for joining me.